Hey guys, it's Rob, and uh, this is the uh, 450 Pro that I started building tonight. And uh, this is the basic colour scheme I'm going to use. That's the standard canopy that comes in the kit. And I've just put uh, yellow fins on the back, which I really like for the high visibility. And I'll put these uh, 3D Pro blades on it. And uh, there's no electrics in the helicopter at the moment. All I've really done tonight is um, just lock tight the head, pull the head apart, put it back together again with uh, with lock tight and all the relevant parts. And uh, once again, this is the third 450 Pro that I've built, and it's just got a beautiful solid head. It's uh, really nicely engineered, no slop in it at all, and uh, all the parts were uh, were perfect. Um, and the torque tube tail, which I really like, it's just got a uh, a torque tube drive down there which is uh, connected at the moment and I've managed to get this um, tail pitch slider virtually frictionless and uh, it's a little bit of a luck of the draw but then you, you can just um, tighten them up carefully and just adjust the uh, the screw slightly but yeah it's it's basically frictionless there so I'm really happy with that and uh, yeah so there you go the only thing I've really modified from the stock kit so far is to put a genuine Align main gear and uh, let me just pull this off yeah it's just a slightly different main gear there was actually nothing wrong with the one that um, that came in the kit it was fairly nice and, and straight and round um, but I had a, a spare Align one so I thought I'd better put this on yeah so that's the progress now the big question and I still haven't uh, decided what I'm going to do is whether to make this um, just like my first 450 Pro which is the, uh, the 2218 Turnigy motor and that's a good reliable motor um, very powerful, a little bit noisy but uh, very powerful and uh, it's been extremely reliable in my first 450 Pro the other option is to use this um, eSky 3800 motor which is the same motor I've got in the $10 heli and uh, highly efficient, nowhere near as powerful but uh, it would give me just a, uh, a fairly good sport flyer capable of some um, moderate aerobatics um, but the best thing is it would give me a lot of endurance probably get six or seven minutes out of it with, uh, with that motor well the other option is and uh, I'm still very undecided as to how I'm going to go is to use one of these gold motors and uh, just turn it into an absolute powerhouse um, my, I've only got one helicopter at the moment with this motor that's the 450 GT the second one and um, it is by far the most powerful helicopter I've got and uh, that helicopter has an 11 tooth pinion but um, so that my head speed doesn't explode I've actually uh, got it on about an 85 I think 85 87 percent throttle curve um, and that's just got a ton of power with an 11 tooth pinion so this little motor right at the moment um, has got an 11 tooth but but I've also got a a 10 tooth pinion for this motor so I've, I've been thinking to get some real extreme power out of this helicopter put a uh, a 10 tooth pinion and uh, run it flat out at 100% throttle curve and that's going to give me um, some pretty insane head speed but with a, a monster amount of torque as well so uh, yeah still a bit undecided how I'm going to go and um, once again the gyros, I, uh, it depends on, on what sort of option I pick, I'll either um, just go with a 401 Syro again or the Leader Hobby Gyro that uh, Simon has been using, I'm really keen to try that, that should turn up any day. Uh, or if I do go with the gold motor, I might even lash out and buy another um, Spartan Quark and just turn it into an absolute uh, monster of a helicopter. But, yeah, still undecided, but um, anyway, that's where I'm at with this helicopter. So thanks for watching, and uh, stand by for some...